Welcome back children. This is Ansu here. I hope you went through the chapter 1 that is introduction to networking and understood all the concepts. Now let's move on to chapter 2 that is virus alert. It is a continuation of the first chapter. Towards the end we discussed about antivirus and anti-spyware softwares, right? Now here in this chapter we are going to discuss about what are the different types of viruses and what are the different types of antivirus softwares. So this is virus alert part 1. In this we are going to discuss about what is a computer virus or what are the different types of viruses. First you have to understand what is a computer virus. Is it like Corona? No. This virus happens only in computers. So a computer virus spreads from one computer to another through email attachment, portable devices, file downloads or malicious scripts introduced by a website. We already discussed this in the previous chapter. A computer virus spreads from one system to another with the help of email attachments or portable devices like USBs or through file downloads in your computer while sharing a file from one person to another or by using malicious scripts that are introduced by different websites. It attaches itself to a number of host files or processes and is triggered as per its design. It attaches itself to a number of host files means it finds out certain files that it can attach itself to and it depends on what type of virus it is. It finds a suitable file and it is triggered as per its design. Sometimes it is triggered by a date. Sometimes it is triggered by an activity. It depends on which way it is made that it triggers into the system. A computer virus then proceeds to harm your computer system by connecting its data and or stealing a system's resources and control. It then harms your computer in such a way that it takes away resources from your computer or it starts controlling your computer. Now, there are different types of virus I have listed all here. Depending on the methods of infection and modes of operation, computer viruses are generally classified into that is based on two things. One is what is the method in which it infects the system and second thing is what are the modes of operation, what all things does it restrict or it affects can be the factors that determines what type of virus is infecting your system. That is two things, methods of infection and modes of operation. Based on that viruses are divided into macro viruses, memory resident viruses, fire infector viruses, directory viruses, direct action viruses, boot infector viruses, multipartite viruses and email viruses. All the function of these viruses differ from each other. Shall we see one by one? The first thing that we need to discuss is macro viruses. A macro virus is a type of virus that targets those files that are created using programs such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Access. That is it usually targets the office suit. Any program that is under the office package will be affected by this virus. A macro is an instruction that carries out commands automatically. That is it is set with a given set of rules. It will follow the rules once it is inside a system. It carries out these rules very effectively. Macro viruses hide in the documents which are easily transferable through an email or a network connection. You know that you always send your data either as a word file or an excel file like that. So these viruses can easily transfer from one system to another 
by attachments very easily. Examples of such viruses include Relax, Melisa.A, 097M or Y2K. Y2K was a famous one in year 2000. And all these viruses belong to the macrovirus category. Memory resident viruses. These viruses install themselves as a part of the operating system. It becomes a part of the operating system. They only act when the operating system starts running after which any open files could get infected. Once the operating system starts working, it starts affecting the files that have been opened. Found hiding inside the random access memory. It is always found hiding inside the random access memory that is the memory that you frequently use. Random access memory of your computer and the examples are Randex, CMG and Mr. Clunky. All these are examples for memory resident virus. It is staying inside the memory of your computer. Next we need to talk about file infector viruses. A file infector virus attacks files and deletes the information it may contain. That is, it attacks files that can be executed and it actually deletes the information that are present inside the files. This virus simply replace the content present in the infected files with junk content. That is, whatever content that was important for you inside the file will be replaced with junk or unwanted material that is of no use for you. Examples are trj.reboot and trivial.88.d. Next, we need to discuss about directory virus. Directory virus is usually located in the hard disk and may often attack an entire program from there. It is located in the hard disk of the computer and it often attacks the entire program from there. This type of virus generally infects a file with an extension .exe or .com as a change in the location path of the original program file. That is, when this type of virus infects a file, it always attacks the executable files or the web files that are present in the system. Example is DIR2 virus. Direct action virus. Direct action virus could be found in the root directory of the hard disk. It is found in the root directory means it is in the main directory of the hard disk. The one before that was found in the hard disk but this one direct action virus is present inside the root directory of the hard disk. It is known to change its location frequently. That is, it is very difficult to trace. It changes its location very, very fast. When activated, a direct action virus replicates itself and begins to attack the files present in the directory and the folder specified with the auto-execute.bath path. That is, it always replicates and attacks the files that are present inside the directory of the folder. Example is Vienna virus. The next one in this group is boot infector viruses. These are viruses that often attack the master boot record of the hard disk. That is it affects the booting sequence of the hard disk. When present in a computer, they are activated even before the OS is loaded. That is, even before the operating system, be it, let it be Windows or any other versions that you use. It actually affects the system even before the OS is being loaded. These viruses infect the hard disk or any type of bootable data such as CD-ROMs or USB flash drives. It always affects the um, disk that you use or the USBs that you attach uh, to the system. Example is brain virus. The next one is multi-partite viruses. 
Each infection by a multipartite virus is different from any of its previous attacks. That is, this type of viruses attack differently every time it attacks. Depending on the operating system and the presence of certain files, the action of the multipartite virus may differ. That is, the action of a multipartite virus basically depends on the operating system that is being used and the presence of certain files that are being used. In some cases, the entire computer system is compromised and in other cases, only a few files may get infected. It depends on the above factors that is the operating system and the presence of certain files. When it is acted, sometimes only a few files may be infected, sometimes the whole thing will be compromised. They hide in the computer's memory. It hides inside the memory of the computer. Examples are Flip, Invader, Tequila, etc. The last one we need to go through today is Email Viruses. An email virus is known to hijack a user's email account to replicate itself. That is, it attacks the email account of a person and replicates itself inside the account. Replicates means repeats itself or forms a copy of itself inside the account. It infects an email program such as Microsoft Outlook and gains access to its address book. For those people who uses business accounts, Microsoft Outlook is a program that keeps all the email accounts in one folder. This type of email program attacks the Microsoft Outlook and gets access to the addresses in the different emails placed inside the Outlook. And it starts giving messages or it sends emails to all these addresses with virus inside them. Emails are sent to the email addresses available in the address book, each containing a copy of the virus. That is, it automatically sends emails to the addresses present inside the Outlook and each of these emails will be having the virus present inside them. Hiding in an email, the virus then activates itself when the email is opened on another computer. It acts when another computer opens the email sent to it. With this, we come to the end of today's topic. Please go through it in detail and understand the different types of viruses. Then only we will be able to understand the remaining part of this chapter. Thank you.